What is the difference between CAT 5E, CAT 6, CAT 7, and CAT 8 cabling? When it comes to CAT 5E, CAT 6, CAT 7, CAT 8 data cabling, it's hard to know which cable to go for. This is down to the sheer variance on offer. Firstly, this allows consumers to choose from a wide range of grades, categories and specifications. Secondly, they all deliver unique results, for even the most complicated projects. Therefore, before you dive straight into the world of data cabling, it's probably best to get to grips with the differences between CAT 5E, CAT 6, CAT 7, CAT 8 cables. Rather this, than install the wrong specification of cable for your project. How does CAT 5E, CAT 6, CAT 7, CAT 8 data cabling work? A data cable consists of eight copper wires with a single cable sheath. This data cable provides electrical signal transmission between two devices. The termination ends of the data cable are standardized to create a common connector, especially for all patch leads, patch panels and data termination plugs. Furthermore, the high categories of cabling these connectors have kept the outline of the standard and evolved into additional contacts for faster transmission speeds. What is data cabling used for? Data cabling is used for connecting separate elements of a network to a common hosting hardware, such as a data switch or internet router. This enables the various hardware to access the outside connection or communicate with the other internal network devices. These devices include PCs, phones, printers, CCTV, Wi-Fi and many others. What is voice and data cabling? On legacy systems, the voice and data cabling would most of the time be separate cabling installations. Firstly, the data cabling would be installed from the data switch to computers, Wi-Fi and printers. Secondly, the telephones would have voice or CW1308 BT standard wiring directly to the hosted telephone system. In the majority of modern installations, the cabling to all units will be the same and terminate into the same cabinet. Equally, the separate units are then patched to the relevant data or telephone system. At times this is a shared switch within the shared cabinet. This style of installation with flexibility is referred to as structured cabling. What is CAT5 cabling? One of the older categories of copper wire data cables, CAT5 cabling was adopted as the standard cabling choice in 1995. Consequently this allowed 10 by 100 megabits per second Ethernet capabilities, at a distance of up to 100 meters. However, this has now been surpassed by several other categories of cabling, including CAT5E, with less crosstalk and noise. Nevertheless CAT5 is still found in a small amount of offices, although these have been usually present for a large number of years. These installations in particular are now very rare. CAT 5E then became the standard, and offered 1 gigabit speeds, which deterred existing businesses from upgrading their cabling systems, unless they were undergoing a refit or office relocation. Going forwards, however, consumers are looking for something a little more long-term, that can deliver enhanced speed and reliability, and this moves the cabling choice up through CAT 6 and beyond. What is CAT 6 cabling? CAT6 cabling was launched in 2002 and, thanks to its copper wires being more tightly wound than CAT5 cables, it soon became the dominant data cable in the market and maintains this position today. Although, extra care is required when installing CAT6 cabling compared to CAT5, the benefits easily outweigh the additional installation time and minor budget increase. Finding popularity in audio and visual niches, CAT6 cabling can also boast gigabit Ethernet at a distance of 100 meters and 10 gigabit Ethernet up to 55 meters. However, as all data cabling standards are usually designed at 90 meters to 100 meters, the choice for 10 gigabit Ethernet is CAT6A and upwards. For the past 5 to 10 years, the choice to future proof your network has been CAT6 cabling. CAT6 is backwards compatible with CAT5 cabling, so there's no need to completely dismantle your existing networks, and you can still maintain your existing hardware. Is it worth upgrading from CAT5e to CAT6? For the majority of standard commercial office installations, newly installed cabling is recommended to be a minimum of CAT6 cabling. However CAT5e and CAT6 cabling are very similar in the transmission speeds. Comparatively they achieve a similar result, so upgrading your CAT5e network to a CAT6 network will not always make much of a difference. Instead the main difference is, you will be able to achieve 10 gig connections of outlets under 55 meters in length. 
therefore when upgrading, the consideration should be upgrading from CAT 5E, directly to CAT 6A as a minimum. For new installations, CAT 6 is still a recommendation, when 10 gig is not a requirement and in some cases for cost purposes, CAT 5E is also still installed in several commercial spaces. CAT 6A, CAT 7, CAT 8 and beyond. Due to the increasing implementation of 10 gigabit networks within the workplace in not only backbone links, but also 10 gig to the desk, the legacy cabling systems of CAT 5E and CAT 6 are now phasing out in newer installations. By comparison, CAT 6A is becoming the new standard and above. What is CAT 6A cabling? CAT 6A has double the bandwidth of CAT 6 with a bandwidth of 500 MHz, whereas CAT 6 has a bandwidth of 250 MHz. This standard of cable is also ratified for 10 gigabit Ethernet speeds, over the standard distance of 90 meters with patch leads, and 100 meters for direct links. What is CAT 7 cabling? CAT 7 is different from its predecessors, thanks to its much thicker layer of shielding. By comparison, CAT 7 cables reduce the deterioration of data transmissions, and can transmit 40 gigabits at 50 meters, and even 100 gigabits at 15 meters. Therefore, these speeds make CAT7 cables perfect for home installs, that incorporate numerous smart devices. However, due to the additional shielding, CAT7 cables are much thicker than CAT5 and 6 cables. In this situation, they have reduced flexibility, and are less suitable for commercial installations at this stage. Another drawback with CAT7 cabling is that, compared to CAT5 and 6 cabling, it lacks total backwards compatibility. Unlike CAT 6A, its usage requires an certain section of overhaul of existing networks due to using different patch leads and connectors. Legacy CAT 6A and below patch leads can be plugged into the CAT 7 outlets, but this reduces the overall link's capacity to the lowest category denominator. In this situation, you are paying for a system that's not performing to its maximum. CAT 8 cabling. Although, not commonly seen in the commercial environment, and mainly only in data centers. Even so CAT8 cabling is being developed increasingly rapidly, and has already achieved transfer speeds that hit 40 gigabits per second and a bandwidth capability of 2000 MHz. However, due to its channel length, CAT8 cables have a 30 meters limit, and are unable to maintain 40 gigabits per second over longer distances. In that case, it makes it difficult to incorporate CAT8 cables into long stretches within large networks. In this situation, CAT8 cabling is more recommended for connecting short distances in networks. We offer free surveys, and during these surveys, we will be able to discuss those requirements and offer you the best solution. For a free quotation, please visit our website, nmcabling.co.uk, or call at 01923888588.